So how exactly is this team going to make a run, Matt? Yeah, maybe Nick can speak to this more than I can about the motivations as far as why the Reds are doing what they're doing. But to me, all I'm really seeing is just a team that gave away their two best hitters and then also Suarez, who's one of their top five hitters also. But Castellanos and Winker are huge losses in the outfield, especially when you consider the guys that are now replacing them are not above average hitters. I think Senzel, Fraley, Naquin, Aquino, Akiyama, like all these guys are number four outfielders, probably. I mean, th there's some youth there, so there's a chance, but I think overall, this is not a very exciting roster. Jonathan India is definitely someone who is becoming a star pretty quickly. And I still like Joey Votto, but there are just, the, the outfield really is a major problem. And that's, you know, that was the focus of the moves this off season. And then just like the Cubs, this is not a very deep pitching staff. I think there's some solid veterans here, but I'm not really happy about the Reds rotation either. So I don't really know why the Reds couldn't just continue with what they had last year. Maybe Nick knows more about that than I do, but I, overall, I don't really like this roster. All right, Nick, can this team surprise and, and inspire fans to keep the faith? <laughs> Uh, no, they yeah. can't. I think by the mm, end of this, cool. look, we don't talk about last place teams, you know, towards the end of the season, but I think if we were to have that conversation by the end of the year, we could be talking about the Reds being the last place team in the NL Central. I think that's very possible. Not necessarily because of how they're constituted now, because I do think if they'd stick with what they have, they'd be the fourth place team. But I wouldn't rule out that we see Castillo on the move, Molly on the move. Um, I don't think Vladimir Gutierrez or Jonathan India are guys they'll get rid of because they're just younger. Um, but Mike Miner, who knows? I know they just signed him, which is a huge deal. Um, but I just think right now they're trying to rebuild, you know, Hunter Green. What's he going to do this year? I know he got smacked around last year in AAA. Uh, Nick Lodolo, is he, he's going to make his major league debut more than likely this year. So you got some younger guys, and I think that's what they're kind of trying to move more towards is build, you know, build around that young core that they have, uh, the young talent that they have, I should say, um, and see if it's a core that they can rely on for the future. So, yeah, this is a team, you know, we're talking about win totals. I take the under on this one, just one game below um, the, the Cubs on DraftKings Sportsbook, but they could easily be, you know, fringe 70 win. We could be talking like 69, 68 for them this year if they make a lot of moves um, that end up making a worse this season.